Hello, my name is Joel C. Williams and I'm the Director of Products for Peaceful Operations. Good works everywhere. Thank you for joining this site. The purpose for today's talk is I'm going to teach you how to put together a very cheap but effective mousetrap using some very basic household items. Now this trap can be rigged either to capture the mice alive or to kill them. And I'm in inner city Philadelphia and mice uh, traffic in very um, dangerous diseases. Some mice can even, some types of mice can even uh, transfer the, the hantavirus, a very deadly virus. Other mice uh, can traffic uh, salmonella and trichinosis. These are um, human pathogens that, that can cause sickness and disease. So I, for the purposes of this lecture, I'm going to teach you how to do it both ways, but my trap will contain water. Thank you. Let's get started. Okay, so what we have here is an example of the things that you're going to need. You're going to need, of course, some kind of pliers. You're going to need a wire. I got this from a coat hanger, and I clipped the ends of it but you want that wire to be at least as long as your bucket, okay? You're going to need a drill, and I'm use, using here a 3 16 drill bit. You're going to need a pen, or a pencil will work in a pinch. A little bit of tape, some peanut butter, a piece of wood to act as the ramp, and a can, or a cup. Uh, I prefer to use this type of cup, or I should say bottle, because it is kind of uh, uh, uniquely unweighted. And I have some nickels here, which I'm going to add to this to make it even more unbalanced. And you'll see the, the purpose behind that in a second. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so basically what we're gonna, the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna drill some holes into the rim of this bucket. Now, the way I did it is this bucket came equipped with a handle. And in this handle, you, using the handle, you can pretty much see where the center is going to be opposite of the handle. So I use that along with my pen to try to determine where I want to put it. Put, drill my hole. So I'm going to put my hole here. Okay. Flipping the handle over will tell me on the opposite side of the bucket where is the next hole, where the next hole should be centered. Okay, and I'm just going to drill a hole in the center of this rim. All right, let's do that. Okay, now that we have our holes established, let's put our holes in the bottle. Now I have already put the nickel weights in the bottle. Put the cap on. Of course we're going to drill right in the center of the cap. And get this going here. Alright. Right in the tail section. All right. Now that we have that, I'm going to show you how, how we're going to rig this through the can. Using our hole, we're going to thread it through the bottle. Just like so. Okay, this is a critical step here. We've got the can, the clothes wire threaded through the, the, the can, and what we're going to do now is just dog ear some of these, uh, the wire, the end of the wire, to prevent it from pulling all the way through. We're just going to do that on both sides to keep the wire in place. Now, what we have here is a lot of movement, a lot of lateral movement here. Um, once you put the peanut butter on top of this, this uh, uh, bottle, 
what will happen is the mouse will come on here and try to draw the can or the bottle to the rim because he'll try to sit here with his hind legs and draw the food to him. So that's why we have the tape. And we're going to use the tape to keep the uh, bottle centered in the middle of that bucket. And just, so just a few strips of tape will allow you to keep that mouse from moving that bottle towards the rim. All right, now that's all we need. And we're going to bait the trap. I'm going to put some peanut butter on it now. Nothing scientific about it. Just going to spread some right on the middle. In fact, put some on the end as well. And that's sufficient. You don't need a whole bunch. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you a little trick here. Now this is a piece of balsa wood that I've purchased that I'm going to use as the ramp. And I've purposely cut it ragged here so that it will jam into the carpet and not move under the mouse's weight. And so basically it's just going to act as a ramp. I'm going to stick it up here against the carpet. Make sure it has a firm footing. And that will be our ramp. The mouse will come along the ramp smell the peanut butter, and they're extremely agile. So what they'll attempt to do is to put their hind legs here and pull the bottle towards the rim, but it won't move because we put the tape there. They're going to be forced to commit. And once they commit to getting on that can, they're going to fall off and go right into the drink. Now, uh, I talked about that there's two methods. You can capture them alive and release them into a field if you live near a rural area, but I think it would be irresponsible to do that in the inner city. You're just transferring these mice from your home into someone else's home. So we have some white lithium grease. If you're going to capture them alive, I want you to coat the inside of the bucket at least with the grease, and that way they will not be able to claw themselves out of that bucket. And when you, if, this is the dry method if you want to capture them alive. Now, what I'm going to do is add water to make it it's, uh, very lethal for the mice so that they don't continue spreading disease and pestilence. And it doesn't does not take much water. Okay, now we're going to leave it overnight, come back and show you some results tomorrow. Okay, we've got our first victim. Now this is proof positive that the test, the trap works. Now as you can see, this is the peanut butter is on the opposite side, so the the, the weight is, the weight of the, the the nickels, not while not enough to rotate the bottle on its own. Once the mouse gets on it, tosses it off into the drink. So this is a very effective trap. I think I built, uh, got all the components and built it for under $15 and I recommend it because you can use it again and again and it won't uh, hurt or harm other animals in your house. Alright, thank you very much for watching. My name is Joel Z. Williams. You will recognize me by my white hat, but you'll know me by my good deeds. Thank you. Mm -hmm.